Hi there, it's Tony from HubsApp.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you what a value ladder is and how you can incorporate one into your own business and also how they can be used if you're an affiliate marketer. So with that being said, I'm going to jump right into my computer and we'll get started. So this right here is your typical value ladder. We'll go from left to right and on the left you'll have a squeeze page. This is where you give something away for free in return for someone's email address. It's usually like a free report or a free training, just something that's valuable to the person who visits the page so that they give you their email address. When that happens, they get put onto your email autoresponder. This is software that you can use to send out emails automatically to everyone that signs up. Also what happens is once they've filled in their email address, they'll get taken to a low ticket offer. These are often called tripwires. And what these are is it's the first step to getting someone to get the credit card out and pay you some money. These are typically priced below $10, they're usually about $7, sometimes even as low as $1, just to, to get that initial purchase and prove that the person is a buyer. Once they've bought the low ticket offer, they'll then get offered another offer which is higher. Now this might be a continuity, it might be monthly membership, but it might just be a, a higher price product. These tend to be around the $50 or so range. And the next step up from that <clears throat> is the high ticket. These will generally be between a thousand, uh, between a hundred, anywhere up to two, three thousand dollars. This is your high ticket product. That is how a simple value ladder looks. So if we have a quick look at how it actually looks with each product, as we can see, you've got the squeeze page on the on the left. Someone signs up to the squeeze page, they get something valuable, they get put onto your autoresponder, which will automatically send emails telling them about the first product. The first product, as I say, generally a tripwire, always less than $50, generally less than 10. It's usually like an online course or just something of value that the person, it's obviously got to be related to the, to the offer on the squeeze page. All of these have to be related. As, as congruent the offers in your value ladder, the better. Once they've taken the online course, they can get offered the next step, which can be, as I say, a continuity. It could be some, something as simple as a Facebook group. Charge people monthly to be in that Facebook group where they share information and more tips in the niche that you're in. And the next step after that is can be personal coaching. It can be a mastermind. It can be a, a more advanced version of a training that you're offering throughout the value ladder. That's typically your, your top range item. So it'll be priced between 100 and anywhere up to two or $3,000. That is the basic value ladder. The key is to get people into your sequence, your value ladder from the squeeze page and then ascend them up through your value ladder so they'll go through all the stages. And a lot of these systems can be done automatically through an autoresponder. So as soon as someone signs up to the squeeze page, they'll get an autoresponder sequence which tells them about the online course. When they buy the online course, they get taken to this, the, the next step up the ladder where they can get a different series of emails because there's no point promoting the product that they've already bought. So they get automatically transferred onto another email list where they get a different sequence of emails promoting the next step up the ladder. And that can all be done automatically. That's the great thing about building an online business is you can set all this up once and have everything automated and just focus on getting people into your squeeze page. So that is the value ladder in a nutshell. All you're doing is you're taking someone up the ladder and each time the, the value they get increases and so does the price of the thing they're purchasing, whether it's a product or a service. Value ladders, are such a crucial, part of any business, uh, any online business certainly. 
And as I say, you can use them for your own products or you can use them in affiliate marketing if you join the right companies. And speaking of that, if you want to learn how to build your own high ticket business, affiliate business, in the next 15 days, there'll be a link right below this video. Go click, click on that, check it out for yourself. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Share lots of videos on making money online. And if you've got any questions, drop them below and I'll answer them for you. This is Tony from hubzap.com and thanks for watching.